Hi, this is Ivan for watchandlearn.com and in this video we're going to be talking about Olympus team. If you've been watching my previous videos about uh, modern WordPress development workflow, you might have seen that I use one theme for all my projects. This is because when you use one theme you know where everything goes and it speeds up your development. Also if it's a good theme and has some helpful tools in it, it will speed up your development even further. So this theme I made about two years ago and two days ago or more like three days ago I updated it, uh, removed some stuff from it, added some stuff to it and I just wanted to present it uh, to you guys. So you can download it on GitHub. Uh, its features are CS of course, it compiles CS, it has uh, gulp.js as a task runner, it uses SUSE for laying out your website. If you don't know what SUSE is, you can check out the website right here. SUSE used to be a part of Compass, but now it's a f uh, now it can be used uh, as a standalone tool. Uh, I removed Compass from this team because it was slowing uh, the development down. The larger the project get, the Compass got slower. Uh, also, Gulp and Compass don't really uh, play well together. So I decided to ditch the Compass altogether, add Auto Prefixer to the team, and uh, use Gulp CS for compiling my CSS. Uh, did I forget something about this theme? So the Gulp features are the gist of this whole theme. So it has image optimization, SAS compilation, auto prefixing. It does source maps for you. Uh, it uglifies, actually it minifies and concatenates all your JS file into one file and it uses live reload. Also it has a modernizer in it. So you can use the modernizer that uh, comes with this theme or you can make your own build of modernizer and just add it to the lib folder. Okay, so to install this theme you should first download it of course. Save it on my desktop. Okay. And I will I'm here in my Olympus WP WP content team. So this is my Olympus WT site, local site, uh, on which I will install this theme. So here is my downloaded file. I will just unzip it and put it into WP content themes, like any other theme. I will just rename it, uh, rename it from Olympus dash master to Olympus. Okay. And that's it, the team is in installed. There are some more steps uh, that you would need to do, but the team is installed now. And we can go to teams, refresh them. And we get Olympus right here. Okay, we activate it. Right. And when you refresh the page, you get ju just this. So Olympus is pretty much empty theme, empty of any stylings. There are some stylings, there are some helpers, but mostly you won't get any stylings with it. It's a theme uh, meant for developers to install it and uh, do everything themselves. So use your own CSS, use your own JavaScript and so on. Okay, but the Gulp task runner doesn't work just yet. So to do that you have to go to the theme and uh, I'll just on this other tab go to my root folder. So this is my the root, root folder of the Olympus WP site and I will copy the uh, actually move two files from the theme right there. So I will move package.json and gulp file.js. Okay now in my terminal I will go to WP no Olympus WP okay so I, I'm in the root of the site now and if I run gulp watch now I will get an error I will get an error because uh, gulp plugins that this team uses 
actually this task uses aren't installed yet so to install them you just run sudo npm install and that's it you just wait a few minutes then and I'll get back when this is finished when the installation is done you will get something like this also in your root WordPress folder you will get this uh, node modules folder and it contains all of the gulp plugins that are needed to run gulp tasks so if we do now gulp watch it should work I hope okay so the tasks are run through gulp watch but if you want you can uh, run them as a single task the only task that isn't in gulp watch is image optimization so you don't have to run image op optimization all the time you can just run it once when you have all your images and it will optimize them and I'm talking about the images that would go into your images folder in your theme so let's look at the theme uh, okay if we look at the theme right here you'll see there is not much in it so there are some WordPress files even not all of them we don't have single.php page.php and so on you just have header footer footer and index you also have this SAS folder which contains mostly empty SCSS files and you have SUSE folder which contains SUSE if you don't want to use SUSE for some reason you, you can just go to style.scss and just remove this and that's it and you, you won't be using SUSE so uh, let's see what else we have we have some mixins you have some helpers here for media queries uh, you have the usage for them right here in the comments so you have media queries you have these unit transforms so to transform pixels into percentages and to transfer pixels into our uh, rams also one thing about this theme I try to make it very optimized and very uh, compact so when you make this theme actually when you start developing it you will see that you will have only one CSS file and only one JavaScript file so all the JavaScript files that you need all the plugins uh, your own JavaScript and so on you would just put them in this lib folder just put them there you don't have to call them from the header.php just put them in this lib folder and the gulp will take all of these files concatenate them and minify them and just put them in this JS folder so you should most of the time never touch a JS folder and it will concatenate them and minify them in this olympus.min.js file which is called through functions.php uh, uh, CSS file is also called through this file and you have some menu support right here thumbnail support image sizes widgets all that good stuff okay so this is the theme so as you can see the only CSS in it is this reset CSS so I also removed normalize that CSS because reset is much uh, smaller uh, than the normalize it's the version 2 of Eric Meyer's reset uh, also we have in globals just font size 100 percent we have anti-aliasing for fonts on chrome we have box sizing border box for all elements and you have a clear fix so so that you can use a clear fix if you need it and i think that's about it there is nothing special in this theme you write all the css yourself as i said the gist of the theme or the most useful tools are actually in this gulp file that js so as you can see you have this image minification or optimization uh, you have ses so this compiles your ses it compresses it uh, it auto prefixes it it makes source maps for it and then saves your saves your style.css file we have this uglify task which minifies your javascripts as i already uh, said and uh, we have live reload right here so this is one of my favorite features of <laughs> this theme so if i go to i don't know globals and we have the theme right here if i 
turn on my live reload plugin for Chrome you have to have that installed I can just go to body and I don't know just write uh, background black save it and why, when I come to the browser uh, the page is already refreshed so I can just remove that and say white and now it's white as you can see these gulp tasks run very fast it wasn't uh, that wasn't the case with compass before but with uh, this gulp says it runs ra runs very very fast also uglify minification JavaScript also runs very very fast so I think that's about it about this thing oh one more thing so <coughs> starting showing you how to install this theme you saw that we moved two files from our theme to our root uh, to the root of our project this is because uh, I work on many projects so every time I would wanna start something uh, start some gulp project I would have to go to CD content uh, WP content and then themes and then Olympus and so on so to get rid of that I made gulp file JS so that it works from the root folder of your uh, project so if you if we look at the gulp file again you can see that all of the files are called from WP content themes Olympus if you don't want to run gulp from the root of your project you can just leave it in the theme but in gulp file.js just remove this so remove WP content themes and Olympus everywhere you see it oh, sorry okay so this you will remove this you would remove this and so on you just remove it everywhere you see it and it will work from for from your theme if you like it that way okay so that's about the Olympus theme if you like it use it it's completely free uh, you can of course fork it you can make it your own do what you want thanks you f uh, thank you for watching please follow me on Twitter and on Facebook uh, if you have any questions about this theme or anything else just put them down in the comments below if you're watching this on YouTube or in the comments on my site uh, very soon we are going to be starting new uh, video series about middlemen and making sites with the middlemen I'm very excited about that and I hope you guys will be too so see you next time